Welcome to the Dead Ball area. Whilst Northern Hemisphere's focus on the Six Nations, it's easy to forget the Aviva Premiership is still in full swing. And last weekend saw a top of the table clash between Bath and Northampton produce some scintillating rugby. Despite missing players on international duty, both teams fielded strong sides littered with big names. And Northampton scored two really good tries in the first half, the pick of which by Mike Hayward we'll look at here and break down into a little bit more detail. Like a lot of tries, it scored from turnover ball. And as we know, turnover ball is prime attacking possession. And this whole sequence starts with a fairly basic error by Bath at the line-out. As we can see, Lowe is jumping at 5, and Bath are looking for off-the-top ball to send it into the midfield. Weber overcooks the throw and it falls to Callum Clark. Now the easy thing for Clark to do is find the nearest defender and just smash him. It will get his team on the front foot and give them a target to come onto. But as we can see in the cutaway image, as the Bath backs are sitting deep expecting to play the ball, Saints have a great chance to counter-attack. Clark and Manoa slow up and distribute the ball quickly. Now if we stop here we can see because the Bath backs had to transition from attack to defence, their spacing is all off. Northampton has settled into attack mode and we can see because of the initial setup, they now have the numbers, control of the space and up and over the game line. Rocco Daguni sees this and shoots in to try and shut down that space, but without committing to the tackle. And as Wilson and Elliott are holding the 15 metre channel, he jockeys backwards to give himself the chance of shutting down the move. It's good defence and he doesn't needlessly commit to the tackle and allows his midfield to get across and connect with him. Unfortunately for Bath, he then backs it up with some pretty average play. In the cutaway we can see that he has the angle on Wilson and is trying to show him the outside. But instead of slowing down and forcing Wilson to take it, he overcommits and overshoots the tackle. Luckily, Burgess is tracking on his inside, but as he's also having to cover across, he can't quite make a ball and all tackle, and this allows Wilson to get a superb offload away to PC. It's a nice line from PC who's tracked him on the inside after passing. And it's early in the move and Bath must be confident of shutting it down. But if we stop there we can see even though it's a simple one-on-one -on -one tackle, Homer's got himself into a bad body position. His head is in the wrong place, his feet are in front of his shoulders and he has a low centre of gravity. This allows PC to go straight through him and Eastman and Devoto now have to come in to try and stop the momentum of the move rather than hanging off and going for the ball at the tackle. So defenders are being sucked up by the attackers all the way through this move. Eastman goes high on the ball, which is fair enough, he's trying to stop it being distributed, but as the man inside, the voter needs to go low. They both fall off the tackle, and a fifth defender in Hooper now has to commit to shutting down the move. And if we stop it there, we can see Bath have chased the ball, and within a 15 metre zone, have seven players. That's nearly half of their team in and around the contact zone. Northampton, on the other hand, have committed only four players, including the nine. Clearly, there is an overlap and space somewhere to exploit. Northampton recycle, and even though Bath are set up well, you can see the two defenders have turned in, and all it needs is a slight dummy line from Manoa to hold them. Milev is now outside the second and third defender, but Bath are set up well in midfield. Northampton run a punch group into midfield, but Lowe is already bitten in, so Milev sees this and fires it wide behind to Clark, who, having committed Lowe, just enough feeds to PC to create a three on two. Hayward sees Woodburn drifting behind and steps inside against the grain to go over for the score. It's a nice try, and the move is a good example of the need to execute basic skills at speed. Additionally, the identification of space and ability to maintain their whip is nothing short of excellent. It's a valuable ability that Northampton have been able to develop throughout the course of the season. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.